But I, I, I credit Jabbo in the video for making me play Fallout 4 to the end. I finished it last stream. I finished uh, the um, Institute playthrough. It's been, it's been, I think, nearly a month since I played The Expanse, the first two episodes of The Expanse. So I thought I'd get back to it, make more videos on it, not leave it. On, uh, like on hiatus or anything like a lot of my other videos I think I'm gonna play on where is the sound am I there's no sound oh good which means I don't have to worry about copyright claim when I turn this into video <laughs> Why painful nah if you are receiving this message it means you've found us at last oh. You've come, and with you comes the next great step in the evolution of humanity. Okay. We have been preparing for your arrival for years, perhaps centuries. We have been patient. We know you have much to teach us. What? If you can hear my voice, whoever you are, welcome home. I did not expect that. It just repeats after that. <clears throat> Who was that? The head of the station, presumably. Whoever he was, he's long gone now. Generations ago, millions of Earthers tried to set up mining stations in the belt. Some of them lasted. Some died off right away. And some of them, no one knows. Still. Okay. A station this large, uncharted, and seemingly uninhabited? It's like nothing I've heard of. Yeah, you, you'd think what people would find out about it. None of the scanners penetrate past the first level, but there are no heat signatures, no activity, except this broadcast. Looks clear. That's very sus. Maybe. But we don't know if the pirates have found the coordinates another way. Or anyone else. Not to mention, how the fuck are we gonna find it in there? The place is massive. There was a line in the coordinates. Something about... the first ones. What does that mean? We'll know till we get inside. Arlen, Rayan, stay on the ship. Be ready to burn hard if there's any activity on the radar. Jor Ding, boss man. Good hunting. Maya and I will head inside and search around. Remember, last episode I decided to spend the night with Maya. <laughs> Cap! Be careful. Uh, Alan could put a bit of effort. <laughs> yeah, as much effort as the as Khan, I feel like. <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep I keep ragging on Khan's voice actor. I don't mean that. I don't mean to. But I was right. I looked okay, after the stream, I looked into because I had to like look it up on Wikipedia to find like the, the episode titles for the videos, right? It is the same actress uh, as the person who played the character in the TV show. And I looked at the reviews for the for the game and people have commended um, her voice acting and her motion capturing. So that's nice. It's nice that they got the the actual actress. Yeah, I gotta I gotta admit, the new graphics that the engine can do, I think it's still the same propriety engine, but like they've done a proper upgrade on it. I feel like, or that it's I think it's like. They made a new engine based around the, the original propriety Telltale engine. And, um, so it functions a little bit the same, exactly but how old obviously is this place? it allows for the open space maps? stuff. Maybe a hundred years? Damn. Yeah, it's always nice. It, it, it allows the game to feel canon. And I think it is canon. I, I think it's based on a this short story. This is fucking story. strange. 
by the authors, so like, that's always cool. Let's search for the command center. Found it! Over here. Maya works fast, eh? Also, I tried so hard. Oh my goodness, the sensitivity for mouse is really, really bad. But I, I also tried to search through everything in episode two and I couldn't find a bunch of things. I looked it up and there are like certain spots in, I didn't look up exactly where, but like obviously with the decision, like the, the little, at the end of every episode, they're like, oh, this certain amount of percentage of people did manage to do this. People found the, the, the mushroom, the dried mushrooms and stuff like that. And I'm like, I looked everywhere. I couldn't find anything. I don't know how, where they hid this, the stuff for the side quests, for the character quests. I hate it. I hate feeling the fact that I, I missed something. Oh, it still feels really odd. I've never seen helmets this old. Crazy that people used to wear these into the vacuum. Oh, I actually like that. I like how these helmets look heavy and clunky compared to what we're wearing. That's cool. That's nice design. Uh, An entire station F. completely abandoned. Okay. I can't even imagine what could have happened here. Maybe we'll find out. As long as it's on the way to finding the MK core. The station is ancient, but the nav beacon is new tech. Alright, Maya's to the right, but I kind of want to... It's actually really cool. The, the design that they've, that they've made. Like, each ship, that, uh, or each station, each, like, um, zero grav uh, sections that we've had in the previous two episodes have looked very uh, distinct. The ops power is on these breaker <laughs> The sector is now powered. There are three total. Each should have its own control room like this. Interesting design. Three sectors. I'll go ahead to find the control centers in each one. You keep scanning the servers for any leads. Fine. Have the fun to yourself. I'll call you once I power up the next sector. New mission log unlocked. Not not a lack of resources. Everything seems functional. They were powered down. Three sectors were powered down at different times. Bottom sector is shut down years before the other two. Ooh, interesting. Very interesting. So this is sector one that's still locked. No, no that door is still locked. Oh, station schematics. The idea of exploring this whole station doesn't appeal to me. Cathedral. Oh, said riches came easy. I don't like the fact that that's scratched out and it says cathedral. Anything, okay, anything that gets scratched out into something religious is always cult. And it's before the mining tunnels as well. That's really, that's really, oh, they, they found something. They definitely found something. Hello? That's, that's creepy as, what the, what the. There's a dead body here. He seems almost. Yeah, he's Holmes. making a symbol as that's well. Weird. Do you think it's related to the core? Oh, I don't like this. Don't know. I'll keep searching around. The last one? does this mean? We will- yeah, it's a cult. Leave this message having surrendered the sector to the vacuum to preserve my body for what comes next. Oh, I- Okay, this group mm. called itself the Cassiopeia Collective. Landed here in 2226. They were an unlicensed settler community from Earth. What happened to them? No clue. Nothing good by the looks of it. He's very tall. He's actually really tall. She's a belter, so she should be tall herself. 
She's a badass. She's allowed to have some sexy walks. Oh, okay. If Cox was right, we're about to hit the greatest score a scavenger has ever come across. Oh my, oh my goodness, stop. That's what he said. I want to look up, so, but not like twist around. And I can't. The money, I mean. I'll head back to Ceres. You want to go back to the station where there's a bounty on your head? With this money, I can make the bounty disappear. How? By going to war with Dawes? By making him irrelevant. I'm going to build an OPA that actually helps Beltus. So by, in the law, because of the low grav, uh, human bodies, like, go a bit, a bit weird. And because of, uh, different, different Belter communities and uh, settlements gets different, like, quality of growth hormones and stuff like that and and, and bone densers and stuff like that so that each you can actually like in the in the book series you can tell like the characters can tell where if they're knowledgeable enough they can tell which settlement they're from which belter colony they're from depending on the different types of issues that their bodies have you know what i mean so she's really short it's either she's really short or that guy in that pose is super, super, super tall. Because because I think the ge a general sign that you're a belter is that you're slightly elongated body parts. Ooh, I just realized it's actually quite dirty and dusty looking. Worn, sorry, worn looking. To show the age, that's nice. Nice detail. Okay, this door is locked. It needs power. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, there's the autosave. Oh, it's like a mummy. Drummer? What happened? Dead bodies. Many of them. I'll head to the power. Then we can investigate it together. Now you want to include me? Fantastic. So what about you? What are you that going to do That cutscene made me share? think that there was I... going to be like something in the back there. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't thought about it. Philota, you must have some idea. Want to buy one of those Martian mountain ranges? Set up an estate there. You know what my favorite view of Mars is? when I can cover it up with my sub. Maybe I'll buy the Artemis off Khan. You can call me captain for a change. <laughs> ah, this ship has had enough mutinies already. Okay, that door's locked. Oh, we can collect it. I still don't know what the this collecting thing is for. It just says salvage. Like, but I have, we haven't been able, like we haven't had the chance to use any salvage whatsoever. But yeah, there's a lot of bodies that look like they're in sarcophagus. This is sarcophagi? And it, that looks like taped. It looks like they, they used to connect to something. This is re, okay, this, this gives me a lot of like horror vibes, especially this fl uh, flashing light. Let me go further, so let's take I'm a I'm not look. familiar with the Dalton principle. Something tells me it's not exactly accepted science. Oh no. A galaxy Milky Way is estimated to be 300 million had the properties for life. It's known as the Goldilocks Zone. According to the Fermi Paradox, intelligent life must have developed in our galaxy. Without bacterial oxygen exposure, human bodies can remain free from decomposition indefinitely due to Moore's Law. We can predict that medical technology will grow more efficient every year. This will, this makes the potential for advanced alien civilizations or future uh, human civilizations limitless. The resurrection of infected corse, corpses, infected corpses in stasis by an advanced civilization human. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that's not, <coughs> that's not horror. F oh, whoops. That's not horrifying at all. 
put bodies in sarcophagi, send out a signal for ship, and then they meet. Oh, they taught the children about it. Oh, no. Oh. Next life goals. Oh, no. See my brother. See my mommy. Try swimming. Climb a mountain. Thank the aliens. Eat ice cream. Become... Secretary General, fight the bacteria, ride a spaceship. So there's a couple of kid riding, but this becomes Secretary General seems like a teen, and fight the bacteria seems like teen writing. Next life goals. Strange lesson for children or anyone. So multiple generations, maybe. Bodies in the vacuum don't decompose. Guess that was the lesson. Oh, I don't like this. This is more of a horror vibe than the first two episodes. Bro! <laughs> the long hallway and everything. Coffin schematic. These aren't just coffins. They're designed to keep corpses in stasis. Virtually forever. Just don't get spooked. I mean, you know me. I'm easily spooked. Oh, they were making one right now. Looks like they were pulling walls off the station to fashion these caskets. Big oh. Pagal. Oh, they didn't teach us what Big Pagal means. That's another saying that we didn't know. So I was right. They Okay, so it was jerry-rigged. The, the, the coffin, the sarcophagi. All of this planning and effort just to prepare for their own death. This feels like grave robbing, even more so than usual. No, because it's I literal. Know. But just think of the historical value. These were some of the first people to try and survive out here. Does historical value pay well? Beats me. I'm making sure I explore every room. Reading this message, you'd hardly know they'd given up on surviving and are putting all their hope. I'm really hungry, so I'm going to be snacking on aliens? my peanut butter pretzels. You know, I was about the Cassiopeia, to collect Cassiopeia is a, I think it's a star system, and also it's a champion in League. She's Snake Lady. Realignment plan. Regular mining operations have been suspended. Mining employees, please report to your post. A regular call to be reassigned. Stasis coffins. All the chairs are gone. Request for emergency aid. Infectious. Oh. That's dark. They got all they got. So they had an infectious outbreak in the settlement. But because they were unofficial, nothing happened. And they got a. Uh, how many days in April? January, February, March, April. 30. 30 days. So they. 19. They, they got an automated response 20 days later. From the UNN. Or maybe maybe they replied and they didn't get a response for a whole week after that. And they got, for the love of God, save us. They even tried to outreach to the, the Martians. The Martian Republic as well. Oh. No wonder they went to the whole alien side to keep some sort of hope. That's, that's really dark and sad. Oh, wow. Just, oh my goodness. The environmental storytelling. I swear one of these airlocks will open with like a... The camera is like shaking a little bit. Hmm. Hmm. You were kidding. It's like a crypt. I thought Belters recycled their dead. We do. We don't get to be sentimental. We use every ounce of every resource we have. It's how we survive. So what do you think happened here? The cult. Maybe the people here were abandoned and got desperate. They could have thought they needed the bodies for something. I don't know. Should have went for mad. Could be. There's no sign of the core yet. I'll check the server here. Keep me posted on any more excitement you find. 
I think the core is the, the one with the disease. I don't like that door closing. That's spooky. Yeah, I think the core had the disease. They found the core in the mining section. And the reason why they closed the mining section was because that's where the disease came. Came... Oh, I didn't check upwards. Will so I mean? mess up your work if I remove this power converter? It's fine. That's a backup from their first attempt at wiring this place. They must have had no idea what would work long term in microgravity. Just threw a bunch of caca at the wall and saw what didn't float. Whatever else this group was, they were brave. Grateful to have company in here. Yeah. I think Maya's gonna get infected. Okay. So now that we know that this channel is definitely private. <laughs> you can finally tell me that last night was amazing and you'll never be the same again. <laughs> I'm flattered. <laughs> I was just going to say that it was very nice. It really, really, really was. Three reallys. Oh. <laughs> Grateful to have company in here. All right. What was the schematic after portion one? It was classroom, right? What was portion two? Hospital? Medic bay, medic bay. I'd never let this happen to me. I've got my recycler all picked out. The hands of the king are the hands of the healer, and so shall the rightful king be known. The doctor died, probably from the infection. Looks like the medic was well liked. Yeah, the cult made the medic, the doctor, um, some sort of religious martyr, I think. All these poor Sabakawalas staring at the abyss for eternity. I submit this recording alongside the station's medical records for future study. Though I take less faith than Dalton in foreign visitors, yeah. I have hope our tragedy will prove instructive to the burgeoning field of extraterrestrial immunology. <coughs> the pandemic which decimated this station began as a standard mycobacterium tuberculosis infection. TB. <coughs> I contend it was our antibiotic air filters which provoked the initial evolutionary surge. But <coughs> it was the children born to this station uh. whose stunted immune systems provided the fatal breeding grounds. <coughs> I did all I could. In truth, we all did. But we had no chance. Mm, dude. What the hell, man? That's really... Oh, that's really dark. These must be from whoever planted the MK core. We're close. They were taking supplements to combat living in microgravity. Wonder if it's the same stuff we take. I doubt it. The only reason we survive now is because of what we learn from settlements like this. Holy shit. So you're heading back to Ceres and leaving the Artemis without a captain? I suppose that's true. Damn. If I knew last night was a one off I would have gotten even less sleep. Oh ho, ho, ho. I will Miss you too. Oh, for fuck's sake. At least call me a well walla or tell me how you can kick my Martian ass. I will miss kicking your ass, well walla. Thank you. Alrighty. Uh, that's right. Three's the mining. And the mining got closed off years and years ago. And that looks like a body. Oh, that's a body on a thingy thing. I can't remember what it's called. Effigy. That's the word. And the wire puzzle's massive in this section. Oh, it's not a body. Okay, cool. You seeing this? Sure am. How has all of this just been sitting here? Their stories were abandoned, just like they were. What gets me is that there was no OPA back then. There wasn't even the word Belter. But as soon as they got out here, somehow their lives didn't matter anymore. Mm -hmm. huh. Well, if that's how you feel, welcome to the OPA. I'm serious. I'm serious too. The OPA isn't just for dark orphans on series. It's for anyone who wants to fight for a free belt. At least that's what it should be. 
Got some mining charges here. Looks disarmed. Wait. How much do they look disarmed? Just remember, when you wake up and see it at the foot of your bed, you started this. Looks different from the coffins in the upper sectors. Uh-huh. Maybe they built it in the early days. Oh, it's the cult leader, Logan Dalton. Another nav beacon. We must be getting close to the core. All right, so Dalton's dead. Seems like he was one of the first. Or he decided to be put right next to, I guess, where it all began type thing. There's the power control, but the door's shut. I, I'm, I'm so paranoid that I'm missing stuff now. After missing so much in the in the second episode, I think I got everything in the first episode, but I missed so many things in the th second episode during the exploration sections. So I feel like I'm overcompensating a bit. All right, freaking hell, something's gonna go wrong. All this alone time you've given me, I've been thinking about something. Whatever this treasure is, the one thing we know is that it will change everything. No more scavenging, no more running. That's the hope. The thing is, I think if I had all the money in the world to do anything I wanted, it would be doing this with you. Aww. Okay, not this exactly, but working with you to help build a better future for the belt. I want to be a part of it, if you'll have me. I mean, I'd be lucky to have you. So would the OPA. No. As long as you're sure that's what you really want. I want to be a part of something that matters. And I want to be with the only person who's ever made me feel like I matter to. No. I hate it. I'm so lonely. Oh, wow. Holy shit, this is beautiful. It is. I still don't understand it, but it's beautiful. That shape at the bottom, I recognize it from the coordinates. That's promising. Let me check the server for this sector, then I'll meet you down there. That's low bodies. Okay, here's something. The sector's thermo scanner reports biometric presence. There must have been someone here. What was that? They're still here. Coming down. No, stay back. Try to get eyes. Ooh. My name is Kamina Drummer. I don't know who you are, but. I know who you are! You're the pirate JP sent to take me out! Lousy in your scum! But JP. you'll never find that sample! Maya! I see him! He has you pinned down! I'll try to direct you from up here! Okay, he's coming up on the left! Oh! 
good shot, good shot, good shot. Blood? Wrist terminal broken. And he was running low on oxygen. The hypoxia must have made him disoriented. He seemed to confuse you for someone else. JP? His oxygen was so low, I don't think he even knew who he was shooting at. I know he just tried to kill you, but... Poor guy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This wrist terminal is too busted to search. There's a hand terminal over there. Must be his. I wouldn't have made it through that firefight without Maya. Hmm. Wonder what this guy was doing down here. Let's look around. He was obviously here for a while. Maybe he left something behind. Manning, so I dug up my old grad school notes. According to an epidemiology professor, there was an early belt assailment. Didn't get us there. Interesting. There's a message on here. You stole something from me. Luckily for you, my desire to see it returned is greater than my desire for revenge. This will be your only chance. Say I was open to it. My partner has other ideas. We know. She's already contacted the UN and their Shinabi. Luckily, some pirates See. got to them first. Pirates? Are they? Don't worry about them. Just send me your location and hold tight. However you deal with your partner, my men will clean it up. <laughs> this is why I love Earthers. So this man stole the MK core. Brought it out here with his partner. His partner, who must be around here somewhere. Maybe they have the core. Oh, that looks like a pathway. This is pretty sick though. This whole section. Started out strong, heavy casualties began occurring after a few years, no new influxes of settlers and a dwindling population of the group must have known their community was doomed long before the last one died out. No one has an, exist an easy existence in the belt, but these people didn't even have the hope that their future generations would build a, future a better life for themselves. Yeah, and they turned into a cult because of that breakdown. I mean, realistically, yeah, yeah, that's how, that's how it works. So I'm guessing this, the triangle thing is not the cult, it's the, it's what the ship had, what the colony had. And they just used it as the cult, like, logo. Wolf will live with the lamb, the leopard will lie with the goat, and the children will lead them unto salvation. Future traveler, we lay our beloved children before you. If you be healer, heal. If you be miracle worker, work. If you be pass it through, pass through and go in peace. Oh, maybe they, maybe they weren't. That logo does remind me of uh, Abstergo though. That's nice. From Assassin's Creed. Templars exist in the expanse. They're all kid bodies. Oh God. The first ones. They're all children. It's a children's tomb. Children here first. Couldn't bear the thought of recycling. Oh, no wonder they stopped recycling, yeah. Then they couldn't bear the thought of being separated from them either. So here they are. Here they are. Mm. Jeez, dude. This coffin stands in memory of the first children lost to the illness that ravaged our station. Their bodies were tragically recycled before our minds were awakened to our greater purpose. 
Although they are lost, we hold them in our hearts forever. Yeah, so the, um, the cult started soon after, I think. And that's when they stopped recycling. Some of the first children born in the belt, and this is the fate they suffered. They were abandoned, but at least they weren't forgotten. Mm. It's the minimum. Jeez, it's a huge Here. space. What the hell? What do you think happened? They Let's find betrayed. out. Yeah, they got betrayed. Guess they stashed it before they had that fight. It's not in here. So they stole the MK core and brought it here. But then our security guard turned on his partner and shot her? Seems right. 10 August, I commenced his diary. Scale up the testing, idiots. We have to the potential to eradicate cancer, reverse cellular decay, bolster immunity against all infections. 11 days later, situation has grown tenuous. Dresden appears to have lost all sense of process and propriety, pushing a cognitive enhancement modifier on junior researchers as a means of advancement. Yikes. Strickland. Pretty sure we've seen that name before. And we're not the only ones on this project. What research are they hiding? Would they be insane enough to develop it as a weapon? So, biomedical weapon. Oh, wait, there's next. Human testing. 27 September. They only started, like, on the 10th. Enhancement lobotomies. Maddox. Phoebe. Okay. I think part of the storyline, and the main storyline, happens on Phoebe or, like, Something came from Phoebe. A furnace that burns hot enough. Ooh. Looks like this scientist contacted the UNN, and they sent over the Urshanabi. But they weren't able to stop the word from leaking out. All individuals handling this information are required to protect it. Okay, MK Core, Lab 27, Phoebe Station. Single cellular testing, Dr. Ray. It's clear that the sample is encoded with instructions and that those instructions are unknown, perhaps unknowable. Exposure to human biomass seems to activate it, although exposure to other replication mechanisms have proven effective as well. Most attempts to break down the sample's molecular bonds, exposure to solvents, disinfectants, and freezing temperatures have failed. Exposure to extremely high heat has shown some efficacy. Belta, unknown origin, duration of infection, four to six days, result fatal. Human testing, Dr. Strickland. The sample is highly transmissible and with proper exposure maintains a 100% infection rate. A greater amount of biomass is needed in order to further understand the sample's encoded instructions. Experiment one, subject was exposed to the sample via cotton swab. Symptoms began within three hours. Subject moved to exam room four. Subjects, subjects were exposed to the sample via cotton swab, then immediately put through decontamination procedures. Subjects showed known symptoms. Immediate decontamination may be effective in the event of accidental exposure to staff. Subjects were housed in exam room four with subject one. Transmission began within hours. Subjects complained of disorientation, fever and vomiting after four days. Chest and stomach pain were the primary symptoms and subjects showed a pronounced aversion to the station's overhead lighting. Hibernation ensued shortly after. The uh, MK core isn't a treasure. It's a weapon. What kind of weapon? I don't know. Something alive. Is it the... And fucking dangerous. Is it the blue shit that happened that comes out in the pilot episode? evidence to show why this substance presents such a novel set of risks. I now truly believe we may be looking at an eschatological event. I thought I could deliver this sample to the right hands and develop an antidote, but I underestimated many things. All that matters is that I destroy the sample and pray the same will be done to the rest of this cursed substance. I feel like the UNN was probably gonna 
make it into a weapon as well. So the MK core is some kind of organism? I don't know. And neither do the scientists studying it. And yet this company is pouring endless amounts of money into it. They're willing to kill to keep it secret, and now they're running human tests. Not humans. Belters. Mm. They don't even think of Belters as human. Fucking inners. They found a weapon they didn't understand, and they brought it out here to play with. That's horrible. It's nothing new. Just like Anderson Station, the Le Guin, even these people left out here to die. Just another chapter in the story. Got something. Oh, the coffin's been tampered with. Looks like there's something in the faceplate, though. Ready? It's shining blue! It is the blue organism! Oh no, it's just the lights. My bad. We found it. And now we're going to destroy it. Yep. I will do the same thing. What a dark episode. Holy crap. And my PNG's just smiling and talking. <laughs> Through it all. Surely a ship engine is strong enough. We'll reach full burn in about a minute. What are you going to tell the others? That the people with the money to buy this are the same people who would use it against the belt. Unless we don't sell it. Hear me out. Whatever this is, it could still be everything you need to help the belt. What if we kept it? As a weapon? Or as a bargaining chip? Call it what you want, but no one would mess with the OPA if they knew- The OPA doesn't work that way. It's a hundred factions with a thousand goals. The OPA would tear itself apart over something like this. Yeah. Why are you so sure of that? You're talking like an inner. I'm talking like someone who knows the OPA. Who knows men like Doss and what they do to stay in power. Mm hmm But the belt may never get a chance like this again. You can't just take that away. You don't get it. You may have bounced around in Zero-G for a while, but you don't understand the belt. Yeah, Maya and Drummer are the best voice actors in this whole game. Hey! What don't I understand? Belters always look for danger. Broken air filters, leaky reactors, anything that could mean danger. And this... is a disaster waiting to happen. Think about it. Not like a Martian, but like a Belter. Everything you've seen out here so far. How do you think this really ends for us? Mm. Fuck. You're right. Let's do what we have to do. Mm. But there's still two episodes left. What are you doing? 
See, Baratna? Told you we couldn't trust her. Oh. Hand it over. Now! Arlen, listen to me. That is a death sentence. You'll never be able to unload it without getting killed in the process. See, that's your issue. No faith in your crew. I already have a buyer on series. Damn it, Arlen, you don't understand what you're doing. You always think you know better than everyone else. That's how you always end up here, yeah? I don't know what the fuck your plan is, but you can't just take over the ship and throw Drummer in the brig. No brig. Airlock. What do you mean? I just got to head back to Ceres and... Tincha! How long is the trip to Ceres? Huh? Two weeks? Three? You want to stay awake the whole time? Until we sell this thing, she'll be trying to take it back. Stubber or voila. Never knows when she's lost. Oh my god. No, there has to be another way. As long as she's on board, it's still her ship. You think Maya and Virgil will take orders from us while she's around? Even the fucking pilot likes her. No. It's the only way to finish this. Take her to the airlock. <laughs> I kind of didn't expect this. I didn't expect it at all. Turn a bit of light on, it's less dark. Frickin' hell. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh, I will trust, I will trust. Sorry, Cap. For real. I wish I could stop Arlen. You could. You can. Help me take him down. Baratna's the only reason I'm alive. The only reason I got off Vesta. Won't watch you die either. No! You can't stand to be apart from your girlfriend, can you? You son of a bitch, let me go! What did you do? Sabaka nearly bit my ear off. Would have clawed my eyes out next. Wait! She isn't a part of this. Put it on. We can make it to the station and send a distress signal. Hurry. I'm the one with the bullet in me. You take it. You'll be fine. We both will. I can't. Stop. We don't have time and I won't let you die. I said I would do anything to help the belt. And nobody can do more for the belt than you. Oh. 
No! Her head would explode, right? already look glassy. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. No! Come on. Maya, please. <laughs> Maya. Oh, Maya. Excuse me. 